sternal restraint. So we're going to put our cat back into sternal on the edge of the table as close as you can get. Now I have her restrained with my right hand, but I need to restrain her head with my left hand. So I'm just going to take that arm that's nice and tucked on her body. I'm going to grab her head. My thumb is on top. I have two fingers on her mandible here. Okay. I'm going to get this all set. Okay. I'm able to let go with my right hand because I have her head restrained here. And so I can bring my body forward and put her head in between um, and my chest here. And then I'm going to reach under and grab her paws or grab her limbs with my finger in between. Okay. And now you can see I can just take her over the table, tuck my fingers. And so I have a nice straight cat. This would be for a left jugular restraint. Now getting into this restraint is just as important as getting out of the restraint. So at this point, let's say they're done drawing the blood from her jugular vessel. Then I'm going to let go of her feet first and then scruff her with my right hand. So let go of her feet, scruff, then bring my cat back. I didn't lose head control at all during that entire time. So now I'm going to go to the other side of the table and do the right jugular restraint. So we always want to go from the lateral side. So I'm going to pick my cat up off the table, come around, turn my cat back into sternal. <clears throat> now I've gonna, I'm going to restrain her head with my right hand, grab, lift, get her centered, grab her paws, run her over the table. It's okay, sweetie. Okay. And then once the draw is done, I can let go with my left hand, restrain her head, and come back.